All right, so let's take a look at this question here, talking about the waves required practical, or well, one of them at least. So it says, a teacher uses a ripple tongue to show how the varying the frequency affected the wavelength of water waves. The figure below shows the apparatus. So you can see a lamp shining on top of a wooden bar and a ripple tank, and that water is gonna cause the waves to ripple, and then the light shines it below onto the screen where you can see the white card and a meter rule measuring the length of the wave fronts. Now it says, here's the method. Turn on the lamp, adjust the power supply so that the wooden bar vibrates with a frequency of 10 hertz to produce waves of water. Take a photograph of the image of the waves projected onto the white card, and then measure the length of five waves from the photograph. Calculate the wavelength of one wave, and then repeat steps two to five for different frequencies. Now the question asks, the method used by the teacher is better than measuring the length of only one wave directly from the white card. Explain why. So you can see here that instead of just taking it directly from the white card, they've taken a photograph and then measured five waves and then calculated one wavelength from that. For three marks, we're gonna need three points. But the first thing is, by taking a photo, it freezes the waves, right? If they try to do it by measuring it with a ruler with the, on the card directly, the waves are gonna keep moving, so you're never gonna get it quite right. So for the first mark, I'm gonna say, on a photograph, the waves are stationary. So the second thing is because they're measuring five waves and then basically dividing by the number of waves to give you a wavelength, instead of just one wave, there's less room for error with one wave. You know, measuring more waves means you're able to calculate an average and therefore you can be more accurate in your answer. So I'm gonna say a more accurate measurement can be made against a meter rule. As it's easier to measure five waves as opposed to just one. You'll be, there's less room for error with one wave, so therefore five waves makes it more accurate. And lastly, measuring across five waves and calculating a mean is more accurate. So I'll put here, calculating a mean wavelength across five waves is more accurate. And there's three marks. So a different question here, talking about the intricacies of why we carry out the method as opposed to just the method. So something different here, but making sure you understand the experiment for three marks.